everybody. How are you doing? Everybody. Ooh. Calm Ooh. down now. Sunday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome. If you are here, hello. Welcome. Uh, if, you're on, if you're on the VOD, hello if, there. If you're on the VOD, thank you for watching the VOD. Um, <laughs> we're doing this again, um, not because you liked it or anything, but because we have a few of these to do. We just want to crack them out anyway. Uh, but hopefully you are enjoying it. Um, so this is the ne is it the next one or is it like a couple of ones after the last one? I'm not sure. Well, there's this one and then there's um, Alone in the Frost and Alone in the Dark to do. I think. I don't know if there's any more. I'll have to have a look. We'll see if there's any more. But this is the next mm. one. Apparently, this one's going to be a little bit harder for us. So, um, mm. if if we get this one wrong, we have got a pirate in the background who will help keep us on track of the rules. And for some reason, I can hear him laughing. <laughs> and I don't know what we've done, but he's making him laugh. Uh, hmm. It's a worry. <laughs> maybe, maybe we're just that entertaining already. Hmm. No, there are ones we can do at another point, which are uh, a GM and one player ones. Ooh, ooh, that could be interesting. I could run it. That'd be very interesting. Probably no, go that badly. would not be very interesting. <laughs> Probably go horribly wrong. Um, but yeah, so in this one, it's a bit different because rather than doing one character, we're doing a main character and four other characters. Which... Yeah. I, don't think we... I have the sheets and they're all there. Now, apparently th there's a rule where if we die, we can take over them, but we're probably not going to do that. Is Dep there? Depends I didn't read that rule. Goes. You said there was. Oh, said... Well, I said that I'd read that, then I couldn't find where I'd read it, so I'm not sure if I dreamt it. Well, either way, we're not doing it. <laughs> so even if it is a thing, <laughs> we're not doing it. If it's not a thing, we weren't going to do it anyway. I must... I'm sure I read something, but... Apparently, if they die, they're not allowed to die unless we die. I don't know. I'm sure. I'm sure I read a rule somewhere. <laughs> this is gonna go so well. Yeah, it's gonna go great. It's already already now. I, we know it's gonna go badly. So I mean, but what else? We, we we we've we've pre-planned this one, so we're a bit more ready for this one. So. We're going to go to our new screen. Why is he laughing? I don't know why he's I laughing. Can hit, I don't know why he's laughing. I'm going to kick him out. I'm going to kick him downstairs in a minute because he's just laughing at our incompetence. I don't so look at that. So though. look at our fancy new screen. We've got up there above, above Angie, you've got all of our characteristic stats. You've got our name, our sanity, health, magic and luck. We'll explain that as we go along. Um, and we'll keep it up to date as we go along, so you can actually keep track of things. Ange has got all the character sheets printed off, and she's going to be doing the secondary checks to make sure we're doing everything right. Um, and I have a rule book, and we have the secondary backup of our referee in the background. <laughs> so, yeah, so th this is the character up there that we're playing, Lawrence Nadelman, and those four characters over there are our teammates. So, yes. alone against the frost. Ooh. Oh, on page eight, don't we? Yeah, we're going to skip the introduction. We've already done the uh, character sheet, so you guys don't have to sit here and painfully watch us trying to work it all out. We can get straight into the actual the storyline of things. Dun, dun, dun. So, yeah. This should be a, we a do our own sound effects and background singing. We do, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Bum, bum, bum. So, we'll read this massive wall of text for you. You, Dr. L. C. Needleman, have long been fascinated by the prehistory of North America, particularly the big woods of the north. The Canadian wilderness remains as unexplored as the Amazon basin, and hunters, trappers and gold seekers tell hair-raising stories of the peoples in the area. Of course, they also tell tales of terrifying demons and other exotic fantasies. 
the time is right to bring a rigorous academic pers perspective to the big woods. The truth hidden there is doubtless more fascinating than any traveller's yarn. For over a year you have petitioned your department to finance a modest summer exploration exp exploratory trip into Canada's Northwest Territories. Now at last your funding has begun, has been... By the way, if we haven't already said this and you weren't here last stream, if we get things wrong, we're going with it. We, 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 neither of us can spell. I'll read, apparently. I'll read. <laughs> now, at last, your funding has been approved and you make your preparations to leave at the end of the spring semester. Many of your graduate students are eager to go, but you can only take three. You have chosen to explore the Valley of the North. Han Hani Hanina? Hanina. Yeah. In Hania. the in the local Hania. dialect, Han Hanine Hanane means the river of magic power. The yarn spinners have worked over time on the legends of the North Hanane, and it is said to be haunted by invisible presences and bloodthirsty headhunters. I'm glad we're going. Mm. As part of the valley where a, a party of prospectors were found beheaded is still known as Hedman's Glen. Your small expedition takes the train into north-central Canada and then bores a chartered launch to the Great Slave Lake and down the Mackenzie to Fort Macdonald, where an outpost of the Royal Canadian Mounted P Mountain... No, oh, no, Mounted, Mounted Police represents the sole power of the civilization amidst many thousands of square miles of mountains, lakes, taiga, and swamps. Fort MacDonald is a trading post for trappers and natives. The best route into the valley of the North Han Haninane is upstream by a canoe, followed, following the west branch of the Mackenzie to the mouth of the tributary you seek. A single bark canoe of excellent make has been reserved for you, as well as the basic gear your summer trip requires. Officials tell you that guides are reluctant to venture into the North Nenein. The local peoples have always shunned the region, and most of the white men who dared to trespass upon the River of Magic Power never returned. Still, you oh. locate... I mean, yeah, again, we're glad we're going. Still, you locate a, a tough professional guide named Charlie Foxtail. She narrows her eyes upon hearing of your destination, but is persuaded by the high wages you are offering, as any person. Finally, all is ready to go. To begin your adventure, go to one. Do you like the other one? After a few days on the west branch of the Mackenzie, the stuffy corridors of Mr. Tonic University seem very far away. Sun stipples the water from the glare of the midday gentle burn of the sunset. Caribou gaze at you from the shore. A head of heron drags its unfortunate um, stickle back from the shallows. It would feel like a vaca vacation were it not for the relentless demand of the paddle. Each day makes the students more adept at keeping time with you and Charlie. Your supply of gasoline is limited, so you run the outboard motor as seldom as possible. Sun and wind grant Bernard the outdoor complexion he desires. You locate the you locate the tributary what's that say? The tributary the tribu tributary. One, one evening. Hmm. Just as the light begins to fail. Next day you launch into the North Hanana. The, uh, the Ram Mountains loom in the distance through a heat haze. Uh, at this latitude, the summer nights are so short that darkness gives the waterways no time to cool. Norman sweet wipes sweat from his back of his head. The North Hanana has a, a rougher river than the West Branch. Its floodplain is obstructed by sandbars, hills of driftwood and shingle islands, and forests of dead trees rooted in, in the mud. The current points of the more points, all of them downstream, like arrows warning you to turn back. Mm. Sounds delightful. Sylvia turns to your guide. Charlie, does your people live in this area? Charlie grunts and watches the water. For a moment it seems she will not answer. Then she looks at Sylvia. At one time, now only outcasts. We will avoid them. Sylvia frowns. 
Why are they? But Charlie raises a hand from her head, slowly building. You hear the roar of rushing water. This is the place of the splitting water, she says. Here, the river is alive. Each day, it makes itself new. Oh, right, he says, make a look roll. If you succeed, go to two. Right. Okay. Look I forgot, roll. what do we <laughs> roll? <laughs> D100. D100. Yes. So, so we take it, we do this on Nadelman's look then. So his look yes. is 85. Oh, that's going to be no problem. So we've got to get less than 85. Yeah. We'll yeah. do that. 40. See? There you go. So if you succeed, go. Uh, if not, you succeed, go to two. If you go, if you fail, go to three. Okay, two. The expedition spends the day working through a baffling network of waterways. Sometimes you are forced to back down impassable channels to find an easier way. Sometimes you blunder across the heads of powerful shoots and are swept along with them. At certain points, your party has to wade in waist-deep water, inching the craft along by hand. You pass labyrinths of wooded islands, fast water and drift. Finally, you select a peaceful backwater in which to moor and make camp for the night. Roll 1d10. Roll a d10. We haven't got a d10 set up. Oh. <laughs> okay, I've got some dice. <laughs> have you got a D10? You should have a D10, um, yes. Which one's a D10? It, it's the one that goes to 10. That's a D10. Okay. If the result is even, go to 4. If the result is odd, go to 5. Even. Go to four. I mean, we could have actually just rolled a D100 then. Same outcome. No, he said. We no, he said roll a D10. So we went. So if it's even, go to four. Four. You take the first watch that night. While the others sleep after an exhausting day, the brief darkness disturbs is disturbed by a splash of beavers in the stream. The trilling of insects and the hoot of a great grey owl. Make a listen roll. If you succeed, go to nine. Fail, go to eight. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Oh. Twenty. So we've got to get below twenty on a D100. D oh, jeez. Okay. Hey, trolls. Hey, trolls. Uh, D100. A 45. Yeah, we failed that. Oh, Ooh. make it this one. If you succeed, go to 9. If you fail, go to 8. Uh, you hear nothing to disturb your watch. At midnight, you yawn and cross the tiny circle to firelight to where Bernard es Epstein sleeps, whispering to wake him up when the student makes no sound. You probe the shadows with the toe of your boot. You feel only sandy soil beneath the empty blankets. Concerned, you repeat Bernard's name louder. The other members of your party scramble out of their bedrolls, blearily and asking questions. Be silent, barks Charlie. She takes a brand from the campfire and holds it aloft, passing it over the ground surrounding Berna's blankets. She pauses. The brand trembles in her brown leathery fist. Even your amateur eye can spot the marks impressed into the earth. You ask Charlie if they are the tracks of a raccoon. Not a raccoon. 
the guide whispers in an odd tone. She says no more. Can you convince her to open up? Make a persuade roll. Okie dokie. So, uh, 60 to succeed, 30 for a, um, a hard success, and 12 for an extreme success. That's 15. Oh, so we got... Oh, so that's good then. So, if you succeed... Yep, we did. Go to 14. Your gentle persistence breaks down Charlie's reserve. Pook woogies, she murmurs. The little ones of the night, they do bad bark. <laughs> what am I saying? They do bad magic. Turn invisible. Walk through stone. Once my father saw a, a pug buggy. That uh, the night a child vanished from our village. Around the cabin there were tracks like these. Charlie trails off, staring into the past. It seems best to call for action. You instruct the party to fetch weapons, stay together, and begin to, and begin a search for Bernard. Charlie snaps back into the presence. Make a track roll for Charlie. Okay, so Charlie's track is 80, 40, or 16. 80, 40, or 16. Yeah. So 80. 80 yeah, to succeed, got... yeah. Yeah, no problem. Easy. 24. Oh, my gosh. That... Yes. We succeed. 23. Easy peasy. Three. She looks very stern. Oh, I over, I overwrote, rolled down. Following subtle signs, Charlie leads your party along muddy ravines, over stony moraine ridges, and through silent strands of red pine. The air is damp and musty with the smell of decaying wood. The coil new leaves of lady ferns thrust up in the thickets along your route, opening like fingers from unclenched fists. Charlie sees it first and freezes. Sylvia gives a thrill, a shrill scream. Bernard dangles between two small aspens, to which his wrists are tied. His head is nowhere to be seen. Wow, that went quick. It has Bloody been hell! Cleaved off at the shoulders. Oh my god! <laughs> Bernard's dead already, guys. Oh my gosh! <laughs> This is great. This is going great already. Poor Bernard. This... We didn't even get to speak to him. <laughs> wow. Great. Yeah. The stories about this river, Norman hisses. They're true. We must get out of this valley, Charlie declares. We must go or we will die like him. I don't know why I bothered printing his sheet. Okie dokie. Um, to insist on seeking Bernard's killers, go to 137. To retreat from the valley, go to 32. Oh, Bernard's dead. <laughs> Just get rid of him. Oh, that's so harsh. Um, okay, so... W mm, would we... Would we insist on going after his killers, or would we leave the valley? Um, <laughs> a part of me says, we, at this point, we would probably want to retreat from the valley, seeing as we've literally just got here, and on the before the first night, we've lost a person who has been decapitated and is now dangling from a tree. <laughs> what do you want to do, Ange? <laughs> well, um, I can't believe we've already killed somebody off. <laughs> we're not even like ten minutes in, and we're. <laughs> what did we do wrong? We spent about two hours yesterday going through all of this, and we probably spent a good twenty minutes on his character sheet alone, just making yeah. sure we got it right. <laughs> right. Okay. So Bernard's dead. 
Oh, yeah, typical. So... Oh, bugger it. Let's go after his killers. One, three, seven. You only live once. Well, Bernard didn't live very it long. Me that but you only live from once. 23 to 137 already. That's a big jump in numbers. It doesn't work like that because I read through a whole one once. It doesn't work like that. Okay. 137. Okay. 137. I should say, when we die, the stream is over, guys. So it could be a really short one today. Yeah, this will be like the first 10 minute stream ever. Without warning. What? Charlie raises a rifle and trains it on you. Wow! <laughs> you. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> you do not listen. Your kind never listens. Die if you must. I will take no part of it. She runs to the canoe, throws in some pl supplies, and shoves off. There we go. There's another character down. Oh. <laughs> okay. Record the keyword barefoot. To track Bernard's oh, killers, go to H7. To give up and try and take your remaining charges out of his evergreen wasteland on foot, go to 324. Barefoot. I have to no, keep a note of that. Right. Record the keyword barefoot and track Bernard's killers, go to H7. To give up and try and take your remaining charges... <laughs> We're now two people down. I can't believe we're down two people already. This is going to be the shortest <laughs> game in history. <laughs> I can't believe Charlie just went in two in two goes. <laughs> That's like the second roll we made, and he's dead. Uh, we've just lost oh. our. The, the, the I other can't persons. believe this. So we, we started off as five people. We're now down to three. We've not even been doing it ten minutes. So are we going to chase the killers? Or are we going to yes. give up? Okay. No, we're, we're going to chase the killers. <laughs> <laughs> we're committing. We're throwing everything in in the first yeah. go. But so, like, if, we, if, we, if, we, if we die in 15 minutes of the game, we can just restart it and maybe no. take some different choices. <laughs> yes, Croy, it's going very well. So okay. We're going to 87. 87. Press 87. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot you could just click it. Yeah. Yes. The vast woodland confronts you. Can you read what it conceals? Make a track roll. Okay. Oh look, there's a nice picture of the. Wo oh, it's not looking that nice, to be fair. So track. We can now so. explain one of the the nice features about this because we've got two other people with us. If their track scores better than ours, we can get them to do the tracking for us. Might be an idea, because Nadelman's <laughs> tracking is 10%. Right. Probably oh, wants um, better than that. Sylvia's tracking is 10%. Oh, yeah, we've got one. One that's better than 10%. Is it 15%? Norman's is 15 <laughs> So what do we have to roll less than 15? Okay, let's see how much Bernard was. Oh, Bernard was 10. Oh, you know, like um, Charlie, hers was um, 80. Well, she was our guide. Uh, so we have to get 15. Yeah, you have to roll D100 and get um, 15. 84. Fuck. <laughs> oh. We fail. Go, go to 58. Oh, Okay. Well, that, that 58 doesn't work for me. Does for me. I'll read it then. 58. You are not quite the wood person you thought you were. You lose the threads of Bernard's trail and are un unable to pick them up again. You may have to accept the situation. You have lost your guide, your canoe and one of your young charges. You still have the option of trying to accomplish something towards your original mission. To search for <laughs> Bernard at random, go to 59. Hang on, why are we To continue for... the ex expedition, go to 75. To return to civilization, go to 54. Why do we need to search for Bernard? We know where he is. He's in a tree without his head. He ain't gone anywhere. 
Yeah, we were trying to find uh, his killers. Yeah, so we're not quite know. sure what we're going to do when we find the killers. Probably John Bernard. Yeah. Okay. I think mm. I think we should carry on with our expedition because we have to. We came here to find out some stuff in the wilderness, so I think we should still go and do our educational thing. It doesn't matter that we've lost the guide and one and of our friends. Someone's dead, but we have. We're here for a no, reason. No, no. And sorry, you don't do that justice. He's not just dead. He's been hung up in a tree by his wrist, decapitated in the middle of the night whilst we were on watch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll, we'll continue. So, sure, okay, so, okay, so we either <laughs> go and look for his killers, because I'm not sure what we're going to do when we find his killers, or we carry on finding this, doing the science science thing, or, or, we, or, we, we, give or we go to civilization. We would go to civilization. We would leave, wouldn't we? <laughs> yes. In all aspects, right now, these three characters who have just come out of university for the first time and witnessed their friend be decapitated and their guide, who they paid, has now legged it, I think they would head for home. Are we going to do that? Think of the science. <laughs> Think of the bloody <laughs> science. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Marks has said, yeah, but the science. Oh, so, mm, okay. What are we doing? We... Okay, let's return to civilization then. <laughs> end of end of story, 54. Okay, 50... Oh, we're on 54. Oh, we're on 54. The, f the, the forage so far has been adequate to sustain the three of you, but this is no small undertaking to march over more than a hundred miles of virgin wilderness. Something on the banks of the North Havana are too... Sometimes the banks of the North Havana are too swampy or too sheer to follow. Your party must cross canyons and deep wood without losing its bearings. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Go to 325. I think that must be the end of the game. Seriously. Oh, my God. I dare press 325. 324, sorry. Oh, is it 325 or 324? 324. I thought it was 325. I pressed no, it and it just brought me to 325. Wait, what were we on? 54. Double check this. Look at all this book that we're never going to read. Woo! Oh, honestly, if we die in a minute, we will go back to the beginning. 54. Oh, yeah, go to 324, but it puts me on 325. Strange. All right, 324. You and the two students travel over trackless woods on short rations. From day to day, the air cools as the short summer declines into the rugged... Subarctic. Subarctic autumn. If any of your pa party require healing... Yes, no. he's lost his head. <laughs> yeah. You may restore one hit point each. To follow the river, go to 470. To scale the ridge, go... What ridge? <laughs> well, there's a ridge. Obviously, we found a ridge. <laughs> For, to go to 469. And to thread through the light woodland, go to 218. To penetrate deeper into the forest, go 557. To concentrate on finding supplies, make a look roll. But we're not going to go into the forest... Or the woodland, because it's full of I people think, chopping heads off. I think we follow the river. Follow the river, then. That's the most sensible thing to do. 470, then. 470 doesn't work. Does for me. Doesn't for it's me. Broke. 470. You trek on through the wilderness. It feels like you have lived... For for years, you have a keyword. No, we don't. Not that one. If not, go to 82. What are you on? I'm on 470. Oh, in... If you have the keyword inch cake, in... which is not the keyword we oh, have... Oh, we don't have that keyword. I'll cross that out. No, we. I assume the keywords are just for plot points. Go. Mm. So we have to go to 82. 
Haven't we been to H2 already? Yeah, yeah, I read it wrong. Two, eighty-two. No, no, no. You and Norman Wait. bed down oh. near, near the fire while Sylvia stands. Watch. You study each of your companions for a few minutes. Norman, a man in his forties, trembles beneath his sheet. Sylvia scans the camp perimeter obsessively, gripping her rifle. The loss of Bernard and Charlie have affected both students. You hope that you can get them back to civilization before fear and hardship drives one or both of you over the edge. Norman shakes you awake, staring out into the trees. There was a noise, he hisses. <laughs> Sylvia's gone! <laughs> Oh, God. This is... You spring to your feet, throw on your jacket, and pick up your rifle from the ground. Despite the, despite the small hours of the morning, the subarctic dawn is breaking. A search of the surrounding ground turns up the tracks of Sylvia's abductors. They're not quite you expect. Oversized, bare feet. Follow the tracks, go to 128, or to give up on Sylvia. Well, oh, she's gone. Oh, bugger. No, she, we, Carry we on, don't then. know she's dead, so she's still alive. Hello, Mark, you've joined us. We've killed half the party. We're only a few minutes in, and we're about to die. You've not missed we're... much. <laughs> we're going to go after Sylvia. Yeah, we're going to follow the tracks. So, 128. You sense, you sense... Go oh, go on then. You get it. You sense Norman's reluctance. Don't know why. But he grips his rifle and falls into step behind you. Together, you do your best to follow the trail of Sylvia's abductor. Attempt to track roll. Who's got the best track? Well, Norman is 15, so we'll go with Norman then. Right, okay. Uh, what have we got to get? Got to get under 15. 29. Right, right, now, now. We could push it with oh, Norman's look. look. Why didn't we do the look thing we, when we were keeping Because I've only off. just remembered we can do the look <laughs> thing. <laughs> so, yeah, there's, there's a, th a system here, guys, where if we don't reach... Uh, the goal that we need we can sacrifice our luck which is currently at 85 uh, to to succeed the role had we had done this right from the very beginning we may have still had a full party <laughs> so <laughs> i wonder if that's what mark was laughing at <laughs> Actually, would we take it off norman's luck because Norman. It is not. not is did Norman it's Norman's role. role. It was right. Norman's role. We'll, we'll take it off Norman. We might as well use him before he's. He's dead. got fifty-five looks. So what did we? So the mistakes are made. So twenty-nine was quite a lot of look, though. It's going to be fourteen look. Oh dear. Okay, well, that's look. fine. Fourteen look. We could, we could. So take that would that. take him down to forty-one. That's that's Norman's looks at forty-one. So I've marked that. Okay. Right. Okay. So we succeed. So we succeed. And we go to 188. 188. I don't know whether we should have wanted to succeed or not. What? The trail occasionally fades over rock and scree or disappears entirely when the abductor wades through sludges and ponds. Yet your tracking skill is up to every obstacle. <laughs> the manner of creature that you follow fills you with wonder. Its feet are huge. From heel to toe, the trap measures 15 inches. You remember legends of a gigantic ape-man hunting the Northland. Whatever else the giant may be, it is a tireless marcher. Twice you have to sleep along the trail. Only an occasional rag of clothing or a scratched word in the sand keeps you from losing hope. 
At long last, you and Norman come to a stream-cut canyon, enclosed by the Ram Mountains. The tracks parallel the creek and seem very fresh. You follow them eagerly, but are disappointed to come to a fissure in a rock wall, through which the stream spurts and the tracks vanish. It will be hard to wade safely through the fast water to enter the hidden valley beyond the cliffside, but if you hope to rescue Sylvia, you must try. To turn back. To We're not going to track for two days to turn back. <laughs> I've had enough, oh, no. Matthias, so to continue oh. on, attempt a dex roll. So our, what's our dex? 70. 70. Oh, we, 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 we could do this. Not a problem. Not a problem. 12. Oh, my God. That's Wee. an extreme success Wee. as well. Yes. So we go to 226. Two, 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 yeah. Kidoki. Right, 226. Two, Determined to rescue Sylvia from her abductor, you and Norman draw on reserves of additional strength to force your way through the torrent. Afterwards, weary from your ordeal, you crawl from the stream and rest upon the black sand around it. When you catch your breath, you notice that the atmosphere is more like Florida than Cal Canada. The flora is completely strange. Gone are the bear berries, the furs, the subarctic shrubs. Tales come back to you. Yarns of an enclave warmed by hot springs and the Chinook winds. Could the legend be true? But now Sylvia's rescue is paramount. Make a track roll. Oh, if you succeed, again. oh God, will the stop with the track <laughs> rolls? <laughs> Make a track roll. If you succeed, go to 276. If you fail, okay, D100. D100. Old Norman. 25. He's 15, isn't he? Oh, we're going to have to take 10, aren't we? 10, ten luck. We, he can sacrifice 10 of his luck. Okay. 31, he's on we're now. Not, yes, not... we succeed. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Now we've remembered this look, it's going to go really quick, isn't it? Yeah, we might actually, <laughs> we might actually make a way out of this now. 276. 276, 276. Yes, because it's his role. We'll use some of our luck in a bit. 276. By wading along a shallow stream, the creature nearly shakes you off its tail. But you are too experienced to be foiled oh, by yeah. such a trick. The pursuit mm. takes you and Norman up to the high ground. The prints become fresher as you climb. Make a stealth roll. Oh, good God. <laughs> okay, so Nadelman's stealth is 20. Right. And, oh, you know what? Norman's a star. Norman's stealth is 40. I think they both have to roll. Well, that's hard because it's stealth. You know, it said we can, so yeah. We no, it use... doesn't say that, so we'll just roll on Normans then. Yeah? Yeah. D100. Six! We got a six! Oh my god! We definitely succeeded. So, so we succeeded, so 276. I'm, I'm jotting the numbers down as we go along, because obviously there's been a few mistakes already. Okay. Uh, 290. 290. You silently guide Norman through the prehistoric landscape. Suddenly you hear the bushes crackle and pull him down into a crouch. Something, something big is moving through the undergrowth. It comes into view. Oh no, make a sanity roll for both you and Norman. <laughs> Failure oh. results in the loss of 1d6 of sanity. So our sanity is eighty. So we just need to roll oh, un under eighty to to and we're okay. We'll Needleman sanity is eighty, and Norman's sanity is seventy-five. So roll for oh, um. Ne there's Needleman's. We're good. Sixty-five. We don't lose any sanity. And there's Norman's eighty-two. Oh no. So damn it. 
Norman lose 1d6. Yeah. Four. Well, that's not a lot, is it, really? No, four, four's good. Four's not too bad. We can, he, he can take four sanity. Hold on a minute. Why? What's that? I don't get that, Mark. If, if he... we, if he'd rolled... Oh. Didn't know that. What? Apparently, how many did you lose? Four. You lost four, four yeah. Four. If you lose four over four points of sanity in one go, five points of sanity on one roll, you go temporarily insane. That wasn't in the rules. I didn't see it in the rules, but apparently... How is that a thing? Wait. We not, we not need to look at this. Rules. I know that people that play RPGs don't like when you check rules. Sanity. I think we should we should be exempt from that rule, seeing as we forgot about the look for the first half. Oh, is it? There? He's right. Is Sorry. It? <laughs> Damn it! If an investigator loses five points or more of insanity points, the consequences of a sing of a single sanity roll, they have suffered major emotional trauma. So does that? So hang on. Does that class as Norman missing his roll? Oh, he did, yeah, he missed his roll, didn't he? No, no, he was all right. It's, if it's five or more. No, he missed his roll. For the for the text on two ninety. Mm. So if you suffer temporary inf inf indefinite insanity, go to three ten. If Norman misses his roll, go to three twelve. So we have to go to three twelve. Oh, shit. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. So <sighs> three twelve. Oh, you fighter. Norman gives a short, shrill yelp. Oh. You, oh, God, he's dead. You only get a glimpse of the thing in the bushes. A giant ape or an ape man. It must be a creature similar to the one that carried off Sylvia. To follow the creature's tracks, or to accept that Sylvia is gone and leave the Lost Valley, or to swallow your grief for Sylvia, but keep exploring the area in case there's something better. No, because he might be like King Kong. He might really like Sylvia and <laughs> think it's a pet. <laughs> it's King Kong, everybody. <laughs> he's only decapitated our friend. I'm sure he's fine. We don't know that that one decapitated our friend. It might have been something else. I mean, It, it might have been Charlie. That's why she legged it so quick. I feel like the book really wants us to abandon Sylvia now, because this is like the seventh time it said to abandon Sylvia. But I, th I think we can't leave her now. I think we're too invested. I think we carry on and follow the creature's tracks. Okay, three, six, two. Why is my, why is my things not working? Oh well. Three, six, Pursuing two. the alerted sas, the alerted Sasquatch, 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 <laughs> was a serious mistake. Ooh. <laughs> It leads you into a tight clearing where you you are surrounded. Oh dear God! You are surrounded by a horde of large and angry ape men. Oh dear! To fire at the creatures to frighten them off, go to three seven six. To avoid aggressive movements, go to three four eight. Chat. What do you think we should do? <laughs> Should we fire at them or Is this be a time to fire a gun and possibly kill ourselves or to do nothing and possibly kill ourselves? This has gone well. Is prayer, Is an, prayer option? an option? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, this, this is the sad moment where we knew we were dead like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> it's just dragging out our death now. <sighs> I, I'm tempted to say fire off the gun. Yeah, but how many bullets have we got? Well, it's a rifle, so I'm assuming we're going to have to reload it. <laughs> <laughs> you were dead when you walked into the forest. You're just not clocked on yet. <laughs> 
Oh my god. May, oh, I, I no, you see now in King Kong. <laughs> it's not King Kong. <laughs> He's he was not. really nice, and then people were horrible to him. That was a film. They had so, better guns. They were more equipped. But they made planes fire at him. <laughs> Makes me ever so sad. I can't watch the original. Makes me cry. I don't think we should have an aggressive if, movement. If, if you want to base that, all right. You're you're banking that this is King Kong, and he's bear in mind, right? Bear in mind, this is Cthulhu Dark. Or it's not Cthulhu Dark. This is Call of Cthulhu. Call of Cthulhu. Which is still wants a us game to go that's insane designed and die, to kill but... you. It might not. There might be there might be an ancient race of nice people. They're just they're just angry with us because they don't know who we are. Oh, God bless you, Ange. Okay. To avoid aggressive movements, we're going to three four eight. We're so dead. <laughs> Despite superficial appearances, these creatures are closer to humans than apes. You use your anthrop anthro anthropology anth anthropological <laughs> training to molly mollify them and avert potential hostility. Attempt an anth a role. Apology. Seventy six. We, we we're not gonna fail this at seventy six, are we? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> right. No, no, it's only no. two points. We, We're going to we'll use, use two luck. We're going to use... Two luck. We're going to use two of our looks. That puts us down to 83. That's fine. We could do that. 83. <laughs> no. So we we, we <laughs> succeed. So we go to 3, 4, 9. Oh, just, we don't even have to go very far for that, look. A few of the largest Sasquatches tentatively descend from the ridges. You use what you hope are universally acknowledged gestures of submissions. The creatures advance by stages. Suddenly, one reaches out and tucks you under his arm. Is it? Go to 350. <laughs> why, is that, why is that a thing? Why does it go to 350? Why not just carry on reading? Oh. <laughs> the ape men carry you and Norman like rolled up carpets. It's not. It's. Uh, it is not far in their encampment. Professor Norman points. You follow the gesture. Sylvia. Yeah. She's where well, she's alive. Make Sylvia's sanity roll. She's not. He's asking us to do a sanity roll. She's not decapitated, Mark. <laughs> There's a few ways to reach this 350. This is just the silliest one. <laughs> what, what's Sylvia's san sanity? Um, seventy. Thirty-one. Oh, so she's fast. So she's fast. If she succeeds, go to three five two. We're we just going down the page here. <laughs> Obviously, we're going the right track. Professor. She rushes oh. to your arms. Even Norman, not known for demonst demonstrative gestures, raises to embrace her. Sylvia is haggard from the physical and psychological ordeal of her abduction, but has proven tough enough to survive. She explains that she has been fed by the Sasquatches and not harmed. Stay King Kong. For a time. She was not allowed to leave the rock overhanging... But by showing okay. kindness and consideration to the young Sasquatches, she was permitted to roam around the vague limits of the encampment. She thinks that it would be possible to escape, but before you came, she feared to be alone in the Lost Valley and the big woods around it. The three of you plot your escape. Oh, what could go wrong? Make an intelligence roll. Okay, so intelligence... Ours is 90. I think we've got this. We've so got this. 63. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, things are improving. Yes. I'm not as, as worried now. I think we're... In, I, to be honest, can we not just live with the Sasquatches? I'm happy with that. You remember King Kong? He was lovely. They're going to feed us. 
If you succeed, go to 387. 387. Sylvia points out that the bush around the Sasquatch camp is very dry. You form a plan. She will take the matches from your coat pocket, cross the camp, and duck into the thickets, where she will start a diversionary blaze. It ought to be a good trick, since it seems the Sasquatches have no knowledge of fire. It might burn them! Make a look roll for Sylvia. Oh, God. I have, why do I have the feeling if she... If any rolls here that we fail, someone's dying. Okay, make a look roll for Sylvia. Sylvia, 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 Sylvia. 65, not a problem. Oh! oh. <laughs> that's a success. That's a success. 65. Yeah, we're... If her look is 65 yeah. and we roll 65, that's a success. Yes, success. that's a success. Yeah. Sylvia, you are a Just star. in the nick of it, Sylvia. Thank you. Go to 401. 401. While you watch from your guarded spot, you observe the flicker of Sylvia's fires. After a moment, they surge into red forks of flame. Guards around the encampment scream an alarm. In seconds, it's pandemonium, with smoke billowing and squashes running in every direction. Well, like that. The beasts near you succumb to panic, allowing you, Norman, you and Norman, to scramble out. Sylvia runs to join you. To sprint for freedom, make a look roll. Okay, look, roll, D100. We've, we've got loads of luck. So, we have. We, we... Oh, so, our look, so if we use luck, our luck rolls get harder, but we're still on 83, so. 69! <laughs> What's our luck? 83 at the see. moment. So that's a success. Okay. Oh, see, we've got this. Go so, to 402. 402. Oh, I'll just scroll down then. The, the fire is oh. short lived. When the brief night is over, nothing remains of it except a phasing haze of smoke on the hilltop. Go to 395. Go to 395. You, Norman, and Sylvia can finally breathe sighs of relief. Only now, when the first brilliant, brilliant rays of the dawning sun break over the Ram Mountains, are you able to appreciate the wonders of the Lost Valley. Record the keyword, Inch Cape. Oh. To embark on an exploration word. of the Lost Valley, go to 225. To try and leave the valley and start for home, go to 291. I think we should be going home now. Yeah, and then we can go home. We, 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 and... We've found the Sasquatches, so we've already got something to go home with. Yeah, and... but we, didn't get, we haven't got any evidence, but we can come back. Well, yes, with maybe some military escort. Mm, no, they kill them. Did you, do I need to keep referring back to King Kong? Do I have to keep referring to the fact that they decapitated one of our friends? We don't know that they decapitated it. Well, there's something in this forest that did, so we might want the military <laughs> for that. Okay, 291. Uh, yes, 291. You look for the submerged ledge which led you from the Lost Valley. Norman washes the skies, concerned by gathering clouds. Roll 1d6. Okay. We got a five. Okay, uh, go to... Uh, if the result is five, go to 370. God, I wish the number thingy was clicking was working. It works for me, so it's all right. As you and two students, as the two students cross a meadow, thunderheads build above the Ram Mountains. You head towards a tall, wide-spreading tree for shelter, past many supposedly extinct species of herd animals feeding on the log, on, on the long flowering grasses. Suddenly, there's a blast like a cannon shot and a blinding flash. A bolt of lightning has struck the tree that... Well, of course it has. A, bl <gasps> a, bl a bolt of lightning has struck the tree that was your destination. It cracks in half. Fire flashes in the shattered trunk. This seems to like... This seems like a near escape until the... 
bleating neighs and trumpeting of the fabulous animals around you warn you of danger. The terrified beasts are about to stampede. You lead your party towards... Oh, the... Great. To the woods as fast as you can sprint. Go to 616. That's a high number. That doesn't bode well, does it? 616. That is a really high number. I'm there. Do you want me to do it? Yeah, the yeah. thundering beasts gain on you, but the pack is thinning out. Make a con roll for Norman, Sylvia and yourself. So... Okay, so do um, con roll for Sylvia. Uh, what's her con? Constitutional. Uh, her con... 60. 57. She got it. Okay, uh, Norman is... 80. 97. He's going to have oh. to spend some luck. Uh... Has he got 17 luck? Okay, what was Norman? Norman was 80 and he got 97. So he has... Oh, he has 41 luck left. Oh, hang okay, on. We, we each have a bonus die. What? Look, it says in the text. Due to your long head start, you may each have a bonus die. Does that mean they get to we get to roll twice if we fail? All right, roll again and take the lowest. So, so Norman, so put Norman's look back. So it's eighty. I haven't took it off. You're right. All right. Uh, no, well, he's he's only spending ten now. <laughs> so the so lowest of his 90. two is nine. But what he says, if it fails, take. Oh, okay. So yeah, we'll take him down ten points. So he ten. Yeah, he's he winning can, that he look. Can, he's fine. No, Norman's. Um, to oh be honest, no, Norman's I'm now on twenty-one look. I'm not bothered if we lose Norman. <gasps> but Norman was good for us. He did nothing. Right, okay. N roll for Needleman. Needleman. Uh, wh Needleman. What we've beaten con, what's our con? 85. 85. Oh, we got this. 19. Oh, my God. Look at that. We're way okay. in. Right. If so everyone, every succeeds, everyone succeeded. 3, 4, go 4. To... Oh, for God's sake. Oh, bugger. I'm there. You scramble higher into the tree just in time. The beasts leap, growl and snarl, but your perch is secure. At last they trek off across the meadows. Your narrow escape emphasises that you are ill-equipped to explore this land. Go to 293. 293. For God's sake. Two. I don't know why yours is... Do you want know. to try it? Yeah. It was working. Look, it works on some mm. numbers. Yeah, it's weird. Then others, it's just like no. You 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 mm. want to highlight this? Mm. Uh, what are we on? Two nine three. Yeah. You Norman and Sylvia elude the menaces of the prehistoric landscape. A scree slope offers you a less hazardous descent from the valley. Go to Aww. three two four. Yeah, we're on our way home. We've got this in the bag. So it's the uh, mouse scrolling sim game, this. You and the two students travel over trackless woods on short rations from day to day. The air cools as the, sh uh, as the short summer declines into the rugged subarctic autumn. Hang on, we've been here before. We have. If any of your party require healing, you may use one. To follow the river, 470. To scale the ridge, 469. To thread the woodland, to penetrate the eater, to find supplies. Right. Right, I, we I did the river before. No, we do but... 269. Yeah, if you remember, though, when we followed the river, it asked us if we had that key word that we now have. That's cheating, but okay. It's Go not two... cheating! We literally <laughs> did it legit! It's <laughs> not cheating that I remember that. Okay, 470 then. 470. Okay. Mine keeps right. I'm glad yours is working. Kind of. I feel sorry you trek for the... through the wilderness. It feels like you have lived here for years. If you have the keyword in chat, in, which we in, do, in, in, Kate, go, go to, to four, four seven, seven one. one. 
for a few days you see little game and fresh fish becomes elusive. If you go on in this way you will face starvation. Oh great. You need a change of look. As your party of three hikes sore footed along the flank of the North Hanana, Sylvia pokes you in the ribs and exclaims, Look, Professor, a canoe! Someone must have been around here. However, a search satisfies you that the owner is nowhere near. You hesitate to take the boat, but your party is hungry and your canoe will speed you down with them much more swiftly than you can walk. Are you good enough boaters to pass the rapids? Yes. But that, hold on a minute. That's some we, poor we chap. Can't... He's out in the wilderness. He's going to come care. back. And when he's going to have don't... no boat. I couldn't care. He's probably dead. Right? We are. We came in canoes, so of course we're good to go down the canoes. I couldn't care about local fishermen who's gone out in the stupid woods that he shouldn't be in anyway. This canoe's here. We're gonna die. We're getting in the canoe and we're sodding off. It's not. It's his problem, not ours. Right. He might have a family. To I don't feed. care. We'll, we'll <laughs> send. We'll send them a care package when we're back at the university. We'll sponsor them. <laughs> No, no, did you not read the thing about are you good enough boaters to pass the yes. rapids? Yes, and we've got plenty of luck. And we're, we're high in boating, aren't we? What's that? What's our pilot boating skill level? 31. There you go, that's plenty high. I thought 30. it was high. <laughs> but it'll do. We, we've got 83 luck. 40. Right. <laughs> Today the river, make a pilot boat roll. Right, so what's what's our what's the highest boat pilot boat we've got? Thirty one. Um, no, forty. Norman, 40. good old Norman. Good old Norman. How much luck has he got though left? <laughs> I wish we had used his luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that's Sylvia, hold on. Oh no, Sy Sylvia's got the highest. Nope. Who's got the highest? Norman. Right. How much luck has and he got? Norman left? has 40 and he has a look of uh, 21. <laughs> so we've got to get uh, 61. Do we think we can get that or do we roll our own? I think we do... could get 61. That will leave him with no luck. I don't care if he dies. You can't say that. Norman's lovely. No, he's not. He's a coward. Right. We're rolling Norman. Okay. D100. 51. Yes. Right. Use up his luck. We're having it. What did we need to... Oh, sorry. So we needed to roll 40. So we've got to take 11. Oh, my yes. God. That leaves him with 10. It's fine. If, if if anything comes at us, we leave him behind. He'll give us a delay. Do you remind me never to go for a walk in the woods with you. <laughs> Just don't come if you'd have called Norman. Today, 472. Then, right. So we... 472. The canoe is the answer to your problems. Oh! <laughs> After you pass a series of rapids, the game and wild fruits become much more common. You continue on swiftly day by day until a rock holds the, until a rock holds the canoe's bottom, forcing you oh. to abandon it. Oh, However, great. you have already reached frequently travelled trails. Go to 513. Five one. Thank you. God for that. It is time to decide the course of your expedition. Fort MacDonald lies within your reach, and you may go there and end your end your experience in the North Hanana. If you still have an appetite for exploration, you may take a short side trip or even strike back into the depths of the valley. If your party is still through... You you return to Fort MacDonald, go to 593. To take a side trip, go to 594. If your party still has at least three members, you Which may return does. to the wild, go to 425. Hmm. I mean, realistically... What would our characters do? I think our characters would go straight to the fort. All right, we'll go to the fort then. But hang on, hang on, hang on. Entertainment-wise, I don't. I think we should do the side trip. Because it's a side <laughs> trip. What can go wrong in a side trip? 
But I do think our characters would go straight to the fort. What do you want to do? We might get to the fort and it'd be full of um, cannibals. I, I basically, from the way... The oh, wait a minute. Is, is Fort McDonald a town or is it like a fort? It's a fort. It's a fort. <laughs> it oh. Literally, it's called a fort. No, I, it could from... be a town. Well, how many towns do you know called fort? It's in Canada. <laughs> right. So I think if we go to Fort McDonald, the game's over. So do do we want to prolong yeah. a little bit? That's not a fort, is it? What? Mark says, Fort William in Scotland is not a fort. It has a fort. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Does it? Yes. It has a fort. The town of Fort MacDonald is near the fort of Townsville. Oh. How do you know so much? Google. <laughs> Right, so what 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 are we doing? Or should we let chat decide? Yeah, chat. Shall we go back to the fort? We might get a McDonald's while we're there. Or do we take a side trip? Or do we go back to the wilds? Because there's three of us, though Norman's not got much luck. So you've got three options. You, we can either go to the fort. Kill them all. Side Why? mish. Or go back, to back the wild. into the wild. There we go, chat. Have a vote. Oh, there's a poll. Can there's I poll. vote on the poll? Yes, yes, you can. Um, right. Um, um, ooh, ooh, two um, votes on the side mission. One vote on the go back to the wild. Oh, I forgot to press the vote button. Oh, looks three, like it's a side three mission. Three on the side mission. Hmm. Any oh, more? I think that's it. I think we got your lot. Oh, wait. Side mission one. Is there a timer on that then? No, I just press end. Oh, right. Fine. There is a timer on it. <laughs> What, yeah, no snooze, you lose, bloody hell. There you go. We got like the Norman just wants to kill him. Right. Side... <laughs> I don't want to kill him. I'm just not bothered if he dies. <laughs> Take a side trip to 594. Oh, that one worked. Of course, you must return to Fort MacDonald. But there is time for one last side trip in hopes of learning a little Super more fun. about the North Hananananan Valley. If you still have all your companions, no we don't. If you have all three graduate students, no we don't. If you have Norman, Sylvia and Charlotte, no we don't. If you have two companions, go to 324. 324. <laughs> I don't mind Norman feeling the same way. 324. You and the two students travel over trackless woods on short rations. From day to day, the air cools and the short summer de declines into rugged subarctic autumn. If any of your party requires healing, go to one. Uh, oh, God, he's back point. to this bit. Go to the river 470. <laughs> scale a ridge. Scale a ridge. Right. We've literally got back to this bit. We stole that yeah. guy's boat for no reason now. Yep. <laughs> literally, we're back here. We yep. stole the boat for no reason. We're going to 469 this time. We're going to scale a ridge. <laughs> that poor guy's lost his boat for nothing. You poor guy. <laughs> you said you didn't care. Well, I, 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 don't, I didn't you care. You said, but... I don't care. And I said, what about his family? I stole it to get out of the jungle. And it turns out it ended up right back where we were anyway. If we hadn't have stolen it. So now I feel, I don't feel bad. But now I You do. Know. You should feel bad. Four, six, four, six, right. nine. There is a tang of autumn in the air. This suggests that it will be an early fall, which worries you, as it means early snow in the Northland. As you ponder this, a narrow but deep ravine cuts across your way, and the uh, and the rushing stream 
within seems too rapid to cross safely. Look, says Norman, pointing at a tree that has fallen, fallen across the ravine. We can use that for a bridge. Sylvia pokes at it with her stick and shakes her head. It's rotten. It might not hold our weight, even one at a time. Norman seems petulant, but uh, but, you're, but you support Sylvia. You make camp in the vicinity. Oh my god. As you open your eyes in the morning light, you hear a great cracking sound and it is immediately followed by Norman's baritone cry and Sylvia's running feet. Groggily, groggy, you race towards the sound and spot the students. Norman hangs over the edge of the ravine, p prevented from falling by no more than Sylvia's arm. The idiot! Despite your warning, he tested the strength of the tree bridge, and it's collapsed. Whether you can prevent the tragedy depends on how long Sylvia can hold on. Make an opposed roll for Sylvia's strength against Norman's size. Oh, okay. So Sylvia's strength is 50. Right. And Norman's size is 60. So do they, how do we do an opposed roll then? Okay, so roll a D100 for Sylvia. Okay, D100. Nine. Oh, that's good. Couldn't have done that better. Well done, Sylvia. That's an extreme success. Yes. Yeah, um, it's 12. So Norman rolls D100. D100 for Norman. 47. 47. Well, that's a pass for him as well because he was 60. Yeah. So is that what happens there? We succeed, right? Okay. So if she wins, wins, go to three two go to two. Three, she two, wins. Two. Yeah. Wow! What a numpty. Three, two, two. You grab Sylvia's feet just as she begins to slide down after Norman. You battle for a few seconds until you have both until you have both of them safely up on the cliffside. Your party can spare little time to celebrate its preservation. The odds are against you returning home safely. Make a look roll. If you succeed, go to three five one. If you fail, so our look is eighty three. Seventy. If we succeed, nice. Five three, one three. Five. Five three. one three. Yeah. It is time to decide the course of your expedition. Fort Mac oh, Fort McDonald's lies within your reach, and you may go there. Oh, oh. but the hell! It would have been quicker to go down the perilous edge than nick a guy's boat. I th we're going to go to Fort William, aren't we? Wow. Go to Fort William then. Uh, right, we're going to Fort William. Sad it. Five nine three. You pass the place of splitting water with no particular difficulty and reach the calmer waterways of the West Branch. The foraging is ample now and you recover strength as you draw near to Fort MacDonald. Yeah. Go to 433. 433. See? We did we only saw some scatch but we don't we don't know about the poor guy's head. Should have gone back to the McDonald's. We're on our way. We're on our way to McDonald's. Yep. After so many days on the river and nights in the woods, it feels strange to sit in a stifling room and answer questions about your conduct. If you have lost any members of your party or have confirmed their death, multiply the number of such losses by 15. We only lost... So that's... We've lost one two. and confirmed the death of There's one. 30. So 30. This is this your is liability your... score. Roll D100. Right, okay. So 30, D100. 45. Oh, we failed. If the result is greater than your liability score, go to 530. Oh, oh 530. wait. Go to 530. But we've finished. Oh. 
When you report of when you report of your party's misfortunes in analysed by the Canadian authorities, they absolve you of any wrongdoing or neglect. Cool. <laughs> Five two nine. You must decide what to announce as the primary result of your explorations in the valley of the North Hananai. The other discoveries can wait. If you have either the keyword charcoal or the keyword resonate, or both, go to 545. If you have the keyword inch cape, go to 431. We have that, don't we? Inch cape, yeah. So we go to 431. The existence of the Lost Valley and its prehistoric survivals will shape the scientific world and make your name, if your account is taken seriously. To consider another discovery first, go back to 529. To announce this discovery, if you have the word black water, go to 272. If you don't have the keyword 432, we don't have any other keywords, do we? No, wait, do we have black water? Consider another discovery first, go back to 529. Wait. We haven't got any other discovery. We literally only just found the Sasquatch and then we decided... Well, we, mm. we, we were running out of the forest before then. Did we have bat water, though, as a key word? I thought we did. No. We have two, don't we? Um, barefoot and oh, inch. Oh, barefoot. Okay. So we if go to 432. If you do not have the keyword, 432. Your story... Oh! What? I just read the last word. Oh, well done. Your story of the lost land earns you the effiate Woods Happy Needleman. You become an embarrassment to the university. And the department suddenly pressures you to resign. After two, fr two frustrating years, you quit the university in order to fundraise for a private expedition. Your timing is poor and the Great Depression impoverishes your sponsors. And the oh, effort no. dies. You retain a small oh. cadere of supporters, but enemies in the scientific community place the in inedible lank of crank upon you. The Needleman expedition is over. The end. Well, that's sad. Well, that went quick. I think we might have made a few faux pas there. Well, it probably started when we lost the first member within the first two rolls. Right. Should we do it again? We could do it again. Should we? Should we take a, a, a small break? Yeah, let's go and have um, a wee, and, and then, then... We'll, we'll 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 reset everything, and then we'll try again and see how far we can get before the. Try not to lose to... anyone this time. We'll, we'll remember the luck this time. So, bear with us. We're gonna have five minutes. Well, we'll ten. And then we'll start again. Yeah, ten, ten minutes. 10 minutes. Don't go anywhere because I'm going to show you an, a, a juicy trailer before you all go. Um, and then we'll have a 10 minute break so that we can get everything reset and everything. And then we'll be right back to you. <laughs> so, hopefully it will go a little bit less better this time. <laughs> See you in a bit. See you in a minute.
you're deformed, I'm asking, is anybody deformed? <laughs> is there a church anywhere around here? I'm going to butt in. Sorry. <laughs> Is Look, if anybody else before? wants to jump in... <laughs> Hello! Sir. We're back! Hello! Oh. I was just laughing at the end of that video. It's good though, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so, <sighs> if you've just joined us, don't worry, you've not missed anything. We've died. Well, we didn't die. We, no, uh, we didn't. We didn't we die. Didn't. No, we we succeeded, but we were a laughing stock and we failed in the most spectacular way. So we're we're restarting, and we're going to see if we can get any further on the campaign. Um, Deliberately oh, not going to upset yeah, Charlie this time. Yeah, we're going to try and see if we can go in a different route altogether. So we'll try. I'm not going to read number one again because no, it's so no. big. So. It, it's there. You Basically, it? we're going into the Canadian wilderness. Yeah. And we're going to do sciencey things. Yeah. So, we're going to start off at the bottom of number one, making a look roll. Did... We succeeded at that anyway, didn't we? I'm sure we did. We did succeed. But we, I think we should make it again, seeing as it is the first roll. Okay. Okie dokie. So, don't we, should we read that one or? No, we're not. Gonna, we're yeah. not going to read it. We'll just do do the roll. Basically, we're on an expedition into the Great North. We're taking our mates with us. We've got a tracker, um, and we're canoeing down the rivers to see if we can get to this mysterious place and find something that we can take back and make our, you know, make make our name in the university's world. So. Make a well, look past roll. this look because it's either 80s and 70s yeah, and it's 85. So I, I expect we'll make it D100. Starting the go, six. Wow, that's a good start. So we go to number two, which is right there. The ex ex expedition spends a day working through the baffling network of waterways. Sometimes you are forced back down impassable channels to find an easy way. Sometimes you blunder across the heads of powerful shoots and are swept along them with them. At certain points, your party is to wade in waist-deep water, including uh, inching the craft along by hand. If you pass labyrinths of wooded, you pass labyrinths of wooded islands, fast water, and rifts. Finally, you select a peaceful backwater on which to moor and make camp for the night. Actually, I don't think we did pass the first one. You know, we I don't remember this. Yeah, we did pass the first one. Oh yeah, if you roll a d10. Which was me. I'll do that again. Ah, it's even. If you roll, then I'd go to five. Odd. Oh, that's different. So that is that is different. So we go to five. Yeah, your first night along the northern Hannah, Hannah, Hania passes without mishap. You must now decide whether to press on hard to penetrate deep into the region or set a more leisurely pace exploring as you go. See, we'd so, already lost someone so by this straight, point, yeah, hadn't we? So straight away, we're on a completely different start. Okay, that's cool. So do we go in a nice leisurely pace or exploring or are we going to go hard and fast? Uh, I... I think we'll take our time because we're exploring, aren't we? So we're not going to be rushing anywhere. Yeah, we're, we, looking we're at taking the fauna our time. And yeah. So take your time, go to 11. A little back from the shore, the faint stretch of sulphur wafts out of the mouth of the narrow canyon. You have read about possible hot springs in the Hananean region. It is very tempting to formally discover them. To stop and explore, go to 19. To, to Continue on, go to 20. What well, I think we're going to stop and explore. Yes, 19. 19. You tie the canoe to a bank and lead your party up the canyon. A warm stream runs along its floor, and the rocks along the and the rocks along the edges are heavily caked with mineral something minerals of white, grey, and yellow Pre hues. Precipitated. Precipitated. Yeah, that would do. The further you advance between its narrow banks, the more desolate the scene. 
the vegetarian struggles in youth and goes the vegetarian struggles in youth and goes to an early death grey dust coats the shut up the brittle sticks of strangled saplings you kneel mark i can feel the computer shaking with you laughing (laughs) you kneel over a stone furred with yellow and white crystals mark the scrap of sample that de- uh, and a scrape of a sample deposit into a small glass vial with your hunting knife. You suppose that they are nothing remarkable, though, and this is not your area area of expertise. Finally, you snap a few photos of the scene with your box camera. You explore further up the canyon, go to 64. You return to your canoe and continue up river. I think we'll explore further up the canyon. Yeah, let's do that. This is almost. This is a pleasant trip. This, this, this is time a trip. last yesterday, we yes. were dead and people were dying. Damn these vegetarians! Is that what I said? Six. It was what you said. Oops. Come on! So are you? A, <laughs> you were shaking with laughter so much. Yeah, veg- we have a follower. Wasn't the vegetation <laughs> killing us? It was the vegans. <laughs> the vegetarians. <laughs> Thank you for that follow. <laughs> Come on, you usher your companions forward. Up ahead, the mineral deposits along the stream are no longer unspoiled. The rocks appear to be stripped of their brimstone and artful. Vermic- <laughs> Vermic- vermiculations. vermiculations. Oh, you see, this is the, so the, much nicer. Got so we got words, beheaded people and all sorts. Now we're just having a proper nice day out. Make a listen roll. If you oh. succeed, go to 65. What's our... Oh, hang on. It doesn't have to be us. Who's uh, our best listener? Okay. Nadelman is 20. He's not He's not the best listener. Bernard, who is risen from the dead. We need to keep Bernard alive. No, he alive. never died. He never died. Don't know what you're oh, no. About. Bernard, he didn't die. He's 35. Norman who died. No, Bernard was the one that died. He's got nothing on it. Yeah, Nobody Bernard. Dead. Bernard got decapitated. Nope, nobody died. Oh, all right Take then. The okay. hint. <laughs> nobody died. He's got 35 anyway. Um, Norman has got 30. Ooh, Charlie has 70. Right, well, so we're rolling Ooh. on Charlie, yeah? Yeah. So D100. 58. See, Charlie, she left us before, on, but now Charlie. this time she's our mate. So oh, we what, actually? So we what, which su- number were we doing? 64. We were on 64. So we succeed, we go to 65. I'll just... Oh. Trolls, I don't... No, we're not killing Bernard. He's, he's alive now. He never died. Yeah, we, we, we've, got to, we, we've got to keep Bernard alive this time. <laughs> We can't kill Bernard this time. It's just not fair. <laughs> yeah, we his, need to at least get death a was untimely out of last time. 65. As the wind turns, you catch the sound of humming as if from a motor. Oh. An unlikely prospect, considering where you are. You order your party to hold position and work your way up the ravine, cautiously peering around the bend. Oh, crikey, that went quick. Make a sanity roll. Why are we making a sanity roll? It's just. Oh, well, I don't know. There's obviously something around the bend. All right, so our sanity is 80. So we, we've got a bit. Yeah, this. we got this. Three. Oh! We got a three. We're, we're well If in. you succeed, go to 114. 114. Ooh. What the bejeebus, that picture. Um, <laughs> can, we, can we put that on stream? <laughs> oh, no. That's a terrible... Don't show that picture. Did you see that picture, Mark? <laughs> That's a terrible picture. The, the sights that you see... <laughs> This, oh god, it's actually this is this, we're gonna have to show it because this is what we're describing. <laughs> Who's gonna describe so, it? Can we, we, before I scroll, can I just remind everyone this is a mature stream? Um, <laughs> <laughs> although we're not mature, so <laughs> there you go. 
So. <laughs> 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 this channel's gonna get banned before it's even started. Uh, <laughs> oh, I can hide it, hide it, and I'll read it. You can't, you can't show that. Hide it. <laughs> it's a monster. Oh my god, the site is incredible. Se- <laughs> several human-sized, pinkish, cross, cross. Stations are working mechanic working mechanical equipment sweeping the rocks of the s- rocks of the stream. The creatures must be intelligent, though they look ugly even for seafood. <laughs> Fungal growth back in their bodies. Their buzzing is audible from the hum of the minerals gathering in the machine. Uh, mineral gathering machines. You came to this place looking for unknown races. You have been rewarded beyond your wildest dreams. Woo! You watch them until your companions get restive. Get restive. You must decide what to no- do next. God, this is going so much better. Yeah. Gain two okay. points of Cthulhu Mythos. Is that a good thing? Yes. Okay. So that means we, we we know more about the whole mythos of Cthulhu. Okay. To stand up and greet the alien things, go to 252. If you want to avoid contact, make a stealth roll. Right, I have a feeling these are not King Kongs. <laughs> the, king, the king? They are not the King Kongs. Thank you for the follow, Mark, Marky Foo. Okay, would we go? <sighs> um, would we stand up to the aliens? Do we want? To, if we want to avoid them, we're gonna to have to make a stealth roll. Right. Which I think we could easily do. Right. Do we? <laughs> do we want to try and talk to them? And greet but the we're aliens? scientists. They are human size, though. That's not small. If they're if they're dangerous, also, we're scientists. Right, they are working mechanical equipment. Right, so these are full on aliens. But this, we're scientists. We're here to find out things. The first thing that okay, it's very strange looking things, but we're not going to run away, are we? Uh huh. Uh. Okay. <laughs> we'll give him a good pine down. <laughs> All right. Should, should we stand up? So, well, should we talk to them? Yeah. Because okay. that's where that's the line we were going down. Two five two. Oh no. You stand up and lift your arms in a posture most cultures find non-aggressive. The miners switch off their mineral sweepers, drop them, and lift curiously twisted Y-shaped devices. Do you understand me? You ask. A sheet of cold flares forth from one of the Y-shaped tools. The bolt passes close to your head. Some ridiculous impulse compels you to stand in place and touch your right ear. It is completely numb. The other miners move toward you, raising their tools. Finally, the spell is broken. You duck around the bend and rush back to your companions, yelling, MONSTERS! Gain one point of Cthulhu Mythos. Yay! Go to 143. Wow. This is going better. We've got scientific we're, we're, we're things happening. Silly. Although it didn't we're give not us a keyword, dead. so I don't think it's it's actually of any use. One four. A streak. Three. Oh wait, it's not. A streak of cold stabs past you, leaving a frosty mist in the air, like like a flashlight beam through the fog. Even the near mist leaves a a, a rhyme of frosty needles on your cheek and hair. 
You throw a quick glance over your shoulder and see the pink creatures with objects of twisted metal in their claws, evidently weapons. Norman and Sylvia have made the safety of the bend ahead that leaves you, Bernard and Charlie to get clear, but the track is wide open and you are too far behind. Make a dodge roll. That's fine. We, make what, a dodge roll. If dodge? you fail, go three to it. If you succeed, make a dodge roll for Charlie and Bernard. Okay, so we need to succeed a dodge roll for Needleman, whose dodge is 35. Oh. Oh. 70. Yeah, we failed. <laughs> Yeah, we failed. Oh, my God. If you succeed, make a dodge roll for Charlie. I don't think we should use our luck because that's going to be a lot of luck to get rid of. If you if you, if you you fail, go to 3-3-2. Three, three, Are we taking the fail? Yeah, because that's like... Ma yeah, that's an awful lot of luck. Right, ju just reading on, right, if you read the rest of that bit, which I, it's a bit cheater, but if everybody succeeds, repeat the process until somebody falls behind. So somebody's falling behind. Oh, okay, so we failed. So we go, go to 3-3-2. Go to 3-3-2. Three, three, two. Three, three, two. You run right into a blast of cosmic cold. You collapse to the ground, too stiff to shiver. From the position where you lie, you may see you see the many-legged creatures with their weird weapons scuttling like giant spiders from the bush. <laughs> then darkness. Oh, go to four one seven. Okay, so this escalated quickly again. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, that's a faint good. light bathes your closed eyelids. Oh, shit. You hear garbled sounds. Your whole body seems prickled with discomfort. It takes an effort to open your eyes. For an instant, what you see makes no sense. Diseased-looking fungoid things, pinkish creatures with tentacles and claws extend their thoraxes. Thoraxes, yeah. Several of them scuttle around your, the field of your vision. Terror shapes a scream in your mouth, but it makes no sound. You cannot even feel the air moving in and out of your lungs. Abruptly, you realise you don't have any lungs, nor any body, just, a fa just phantom pains. You can see your body discarded on the ground nearby. It has no head. You are its head. You are clamped in a box with tubes running into your neck. The alien monsters want to preserve your living brain. Plunging into madness, you try to scream again. Uh, uh, one of the creatures shuts the lid on the box that contains the blocking out con contains you, blocking out the light. Hide the needle, but expedition is over the end. <laughs> I don't think we got past fifteen minutes on that one. <laughs> oh, and we were doing so well. It was so lovely. Is is this a sign? <laughs> we oh. were doing so well. Oh. Oh. Do <laughs> we dead? Yeah, we're not very good at this, are we? It's not going well. <laughs> right, sh oh. should we should we go back to just to the last bit and pretend that we succeeded? Three, okay. So where where were we? We were three eighty, was it? <laughs> three three two. Three three two. Let's just go back. <laughs> so so we've died. Well, we've. We 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 survived, killed two me well killed one member and were ridiculed for life in the first playthrough. The second one we died outright by some very very disturbing creatures. 
Uh, no, before what was it before three three two? Uh, three three three. Was it? That's it. No shit. No, it wasn't three three three. It was either. Oh four one seven. No, it wasn't four one seven. Oh. It tells you. Oh, wait, the... wait, 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 wait. Tells you in the brackets all the ways you could have uh, got there. Three three two. One four three was I was writing them down as well. Was it one four three? Bear with us, chat. We're, we're backtracking a little bit. What's one four? Okay, three three, three two one four. Yeah, one four three. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there we go. Right, so we're gonna pretend. Back to one four three. We're gonna pretend that we 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 succeeded this role. Yeah, we're not cheating at all. We're not all. cheating. This isn't cheating. This is another playthrough where instead of us going through the exact same stuff again, we are just rewinding a bit back. Okay. So. So we succeed. Now we need to make a dodge roll for Charlotte and Bernard. So. Uh, we'll Charlie's count. dodge is half. Um... So he's, he's half dex, is it? Half dex. So Charlie's dodge is 55. So it's going to be he 23. Fails. He fails. Oh, oh. And oh. what is Bernard's? Um, 30. 30? Yeah. 36. Do, do, should, do, do we just accept they both fail or should we let... Bernard use luck to pass, and then it's only Charlie. I think we do that because I. If only Charlie fails. I don't mind losing Charlie. Go to one four eight. So we lost mind. Charlie again. Yeah. So okay. take take six luck off Bernard. Yeah. Because I I like Bernard. We'll keep Bernard, but I have no. I we don't care about Charlie. She's just the tour guide. You're quite mercenary sometimes, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> Okay, so, so if only Charlie um, fails, go to one four eight. Yeah, well, we did fine without Charlie before. We'll do fine again. Don't worry. About an it. anguished cry warned you that Charlie has been hit. You glance over your shoulder, only to see her stagger a few more steps on stiff legs and then fall behind her. The creatures swarm to stop and help Charlie go to three three two. No, I don't think we should. No, no, no. Nope. To race on with Barnard, go to 157. Yep. Nope, nope. 157. Nope. 157. Yeah. You and we, have no... <laughs> we are not going near those things. Yeah. <laughs> not cheating in any way. Not che but I don't think it's going to end well if we go after them. So, sorry. Well, I think we might end up in a jar. So, where, where are we up to? You... You, you and your students outdistance the alien miners. Fortunately, they do not seem to be very swift across the ground. Oh, sh You slip into a small clearing and discuss your next course of action. We have to go back for Charlie, Bernard insists. Bernard's going to get himself killed. Again. You, you and Norman exchange knowing guilty glances. It is a clear... It is clear your prime responsibility is to your students, and you cannot endanger them further. When Sylvia takes Bernard aside for a quiet conversation. When they return, he cannot meet your eyes. If you have the keyword barefoot, go. we no. don't have any keywords. So we go to 163, which is just over here. To your dismay, your canoe has been chopped to pieces. It is beyond repair. You and your students study the vandalism. The only clues are tiny hand-like tracks on the ground around the wreckage. They are fresh. The perpetrators cannot be far. Go to 84. Some old field instinct leads you to whisper a warning to the students who dart to the undergrowth. This doesn't look good either. Okay. To your surprise, a tiny man treads lightly out of the woody growth. He is barely three feet tall and thin of limb. His features seem exaggerated. 
and if you were not so close you might think he was wearing a wooden mask, but his skin is strange pale grey. Is he the anthropological discovery that your ex expedition seeks? To hide until it's all clear, go to 129. To stand up and make contact, go to 130. I, I, I'm just going to put this out there. I don't think we should make contact. No, 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 no. You're <laughs> saying that because on the last time we stood... No, yeah, we... Mm, <laughs> yeah, we did stand up and got chased, and we know they don't like us. Bear in mind, this is the creature that's just destroyed our boat. Or that we no, think maybe... is the creature that just destroyed our boat. Okay, and let's look at him. We literally have just killed, possibly killed Charlie. We don't know, so she, I'm, I'm not taking her off the board. She's still possibly alive, although I doubt it. Right? We have literally just, within the last few minutes of our life, just got Charlie possibly killed because we just went, Hi! I don't think we should do this again. <laughs> I, I, I have a feeling our character is going to be very much... Let's not do that one this time. Let, let's just not. Oh, it's a book of woogie. Okay, so we will... <laughs> book of woogie, it's at the side. To hide until it's all... Okay, we'll hide. I'll go with you on this one. We'll hide. Because okay. my last idea of saying hello went spiffingly well. Yes. One, two, nine. Something about the little man's face discourages you from making contact. You remain crouched in the undergrowth. Make a stealth roll for each party member. If at least one fails, go to 416. Otherwise, go to 115. Oh, yeah, I've been a giraffe. Okay, Nadelman stealth. Nadelman is 20. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to fail, aren't we? Right, D100. 29. Ooh. Ooh. Now, look. If we if if we look. use our look, we are committing to this. We've got to get everyone through. We have to make the decision that we can't just cheat and wait till everyone's done it. So. Right. Okay. We use our look. So what? We lose nine luck. Yes. Uh, so that's seventy. Seventy-one. Seventy-six. No, you're using nine luck. Yeah, we're on eighty-five. No, this is Nadelman. We're on... Yeah, we're on 85. 80. No, 80. No, how are we on 80? We've not used any Because I'm doing lot. sanity. Sorry. Don't, don't use... <laughs> don't use sanity, then. Right, <laughs> so... well, 76 we're down to now. <laughs> She's going to get us killed. Right, so 76. Nadelman Bernard. has passed. Bernard, what's, Bernard. His, uh, what's his stealth? Sir Bernard Stealth. 35. Oh, jeez. Four. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Right. Okay. We're in business. Norman. Next. Norman. Norman Stealth is 40. 85. Oh, you Norman, you ha knobber. Can we take 45 luck off him? What, again? I don't think he was trying to sell us a, a better boat, by the way. I do not believe that. <laughs> I, we're going to have to. What did he just roll? 85 and he has to pass 40. You're going to take 45 points off him. You're going to put him down to 15 points again. I've, I've already made my feelings clear about Norman. Right, okay. He's on 15 <laughs> luck just to get a pass. <laughs> Sylvia. Sylvia. What's Sylvia's luck? 40. 23. Good. See? Oh, it's right. bloody Norman. He's such a knob. <laughs> Norman the knob. <laughs> Norman the okay. knob. Can't bloody hide in a bush. God's sake, Norman. <laughs> right. What What number one? One, two, nine. So we, so we all passed, five. even though we cheated. So, we didn't uh, cheat. So... How did we cheat? One, nine, five. What? Your party is stealthy enough to remain unnoticed by the small grey figures. To head back towards civilization, go to 158. To press forward, go to 604. I think we're going to have to press forward. because Press forward. We found aliens, but we haven't got anything to kind of do, have we? I mean, what kind of woods is this? I mean, we've got Sasquatches. We've got <laughs> giant alien-shaped things. And, and and now we've got a strange little grey no, men. They, they weren't alien-shaped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not saying what they were. 
604. You contemplate possible routes with your students. If you have the Ooh. keyword inch cape, which no. we don't, no. go to 158. To explore a nearby canyon, go to 90. To follow the river, go to 60. To use the mountains as a landmark, go to 56. And to gain elevation where you can where you can go, go to 50, 552. And to explore the deep woods, go to 461. What do you want Followed to do? the river before. Did we do a canyon? Well, we were following the river because we were trying to get out. So I don't think we would be following the river now. I would say either... Let's go into the woods. You want to explore the deep woods? What could possibly go wrong in the woods? All right. Four six one. Did it did it did it did it did it did it. Your party turns in, each their own small tent. Bernard takes the first watch. Oh no. Over the um over a mat of branches you throw your el your eider down eider down roll. Eider down roll. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Upon this, you spread a sheet. You take your customary final look around before turning in. The camp is settled and everything is in place. The night that that night, you wait or cry in the darkness. Epstein, Epstein! No one in your party could speak in such a chill, brittle timbre. You rise, throw on your jacket, and seize your rifle. You're just in time to see Bernard answering his caller with an unintelligible shout and out and darting into the black forest Norman and Sylvia join you jabbering questions mm, you're a fighter go to 95 go to 95 ooh this is a long way back are you there I'm there Josh I do it yeah go on Norman finally speaks what do we, we do now professor Sylvia her face lit by wait Hmm. What will we do now, Professor Sylvia? I faced it by flickering flames. Looks at you like a hopeful orphan. Charlie is gone. But of course you cannot abandon Bernard whilst there is still a chance of finding him alive. At that moment, a clear cry rings above, rings from above. You look to the sky. My feet! My flaming feet! My heart! The plaintive calls cut off abruptly as you hear something heavy crashing down through the tree tops, breaking branches as it plummets. You tell the others to get their guns. You stand over a f over the fire, a nervous finger on, your, on the trigger. Hours pass. Finally, a twig snaps. Then another. Unhurried, something steps from the bush. Shoot it! It might be King Kong. It could, it could, um, it could be Bernard. <laughs> Could be. To shoot at first sight of the figure, go to 138. No, we could shoot it and kill Bernard. Well, it says unhurried, so whatever it is, it's not running at us, isn't it? It's, it's just something stepping Let out. Let it come closer, because we can still kill it if it comes closer and we don't like the look of it. Okay, it's a 101. No, I didn't want to drop the gun. <laughs> you, you, you dropped the gun. Overwhelmed by how close you came to utter disaster... Bernard takes a couple of oddly balanced steps forward. There you see. See, I think we, you know, it would have been more fun to kind of shoot it, but okay. <laughs> they are hidden beneath a sh Oh, hang on. I've skipped it. Bernard takes, Bernard a, couple takes of a couple of oddly, oddly balanced steps forward. Something about his stride is weird. Is he limping? You glance down at his feet. They are hidden beneath a shapeless wrapping of rags from his shirt and jacket. Nagged by irrational doubts, but trying to be logical, you urge him over to the fire. Bernard, is that really you? Sylvia's voice quavers. The figure chortlers, his voice broken. Something inside you cringes as he walks up to the fire. His skin is shallow. His features hang slack on his skull. Oh, For no. a moment, you imagine something bestial is peering out through the holes of a human mask. Intellectually, you want to accept this person as Bernard. Emotionally, you are not so sure. Make an anthropology role. If you succeed, go to one or two. 
Oh my! Th 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 someone's got Bernard's skin on, isn't he? I think Bernard's dead again. Poor Bernard! <laughs> Poor Ross, we've seen him die twice now. 76. Got to roll below 76. 57. Well in. Okay. Succeed, go to one or two. No matter what it looks like, this thing cannot be Bernard. I'm Epstein. Whether it is his mortal shell, possessed, you don't know. But you now remember what you heard about those chosen by th that group. Ithacawani. Such... Ithacawani's. Such a thing must be destroyed. But you, a rational academic, cannot think such thoughts. Surely you are unhinged even to consider them. Go to 177. The students will not understand your action, but you are the expedition leader and their survival is your responsibility. Roll 1d6 if the result is 1 to 4. I think there is. Yes, someone's wearing a Bernard onesie. Now available on, our, on the store, which we don't have. We rolled a 1. Go to 106. 106. You draw a stiff burning brand from the campfire and you creep up behind the supposed monster. When he begins to turn his head, you strike. The Windwalker's dex is 15. Oh, that's a bit Make of a giveaway. An... Yeah, it's, it's not Bernard. It's a Windwalker, apparently. It's 15. Make an opposed dex roll to determine the outcome of your attack. Okay, so he's 15. So we make a dex roll... So we do a D100, yeah? Y yeah, okay. We do a D100. 99! <laughs> oh. <laughs> so our dex is 70. So we've just... Have we just failed? We could use our luck. Foul bloody much! That would be ridiculous. It'd be 29 luck if we wanted to. Oh, so why, why are we using a stick? We've got a gun. We we haven't got the look to beat an opposed chair. Oh, yeah. Can you win the... If you win the... Yeah, you can't do it on look. Yeah, no, you can't. Yeah. No, we can. But no, we I haven't... don't think you can use look on fighting, can you? No, this isn't... Oh. No, I don't think we can. Uh, oh, well. Well, Hold we on. fail. We fail. One for one. Oh, okay. One for one. The wind sure. Walker... Is that right, Mark? You can't use luck on in a fight roll, can right. you? Yeah, so we've lost anyway. The no, wind you walker can't. is too fast for you. It swats away your smouldering weapon and stands up. I think we up. did that, didn't we? Those eyes freeze your blood. Go to 127. Sylvia takes first watch... Oh, 127. I was going to say... The face before you deforms into that of a fiend incarnate. Three times it bleaches out a righteous shriek, and at each the figure grows and cha changes. With the third cry it is a human no longer, but a demonic giant of ice and tatters. To attempt to fight the creature, go to 184 to attempt to flee. I think we should flee. <laughs> should we run away like such brave yes. people that we are? 187. Yes. You, you urge your thunderstruck, and sh thunderstruck students to flee. Oh, by the way, Bernard's dead, isn't he? So, uh, oh, I better bye bye Bernard. Bernard. He's dead. Again. You urge your thunderstruck students to flee, but it is too late for them. As you run, you shiver at their cries, throwing a glance over your shoulder. You see blooded snow and the Windwalker ripped at their bodies. Oh, ripping at their bodies. We've killed all of them. <laughs> you all, your only hope is that the creature will be sated and not pursue you. Make a look oh! roll. I don't think he's sitting somewhere without his skin on. I think he's dead. 
Um, right, a luck roll. 76. <laughs> he hasn't got a coat. 26. We succeed. Yeah. Go. Three, 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 six. Three. We're so pleased that we succeeded and killed all our students and well, the, we um, the guide. They're dead. They're just being bitten. It's like midges. Three, you three, run six. until you fall, utterly spent. When you look back, you hear and see nothing. You are safe for the moment, but now you must face the big woods alone. Go to 67. Have you just scrolled all that way? And now we're going to go back to 67. <laughs> Uh, Is it working? No, it, it's picking oh. and choosing. See, look, it works sometimes. <laughs> Despondent over the prospect of a trek through the wildest stretch of the northern territories, you ram you ram your way through the bush with bitter violence. Thunder rumbles in the western mountains like the echo of the like the echo of distant drums. The peaks fade into a lowering canopy of clouds. You wade a small river and then across a pine ridge. The scenery blurs together as you do, as you go. In the days that follow, you try to fish with your bare hands, eat what you can kill and take the berries and grow, that grow along the way. You are undergoing a test that would daunt a seasoned frontiersman. If you require healing, no, you are no. still one hit point. Make a survival woodland roll. 40. So you've got to roll below 40. Uh, D100. 71. Fail. I don't if wanna... you fail, you have several options. To establish a camp to think, go to step 496. To strike deep into the forest, go to 501. To hug the tree line, go to 494. To explore the... I don't think we'll be exploring... The rocky I think we should stick to the seven. river because then that's stick using a river. luck roll. Which Make a luck roll. If you succeed, go to luck. one, two, six. Fail, go to, okay, so yeah. we'll go. We'll stick when to the doubt, river. When in doubt, follow the river. Yeah, always follow the river. D hug the trees. Hug the, we're not hugging the trees. No, because when we go near trees, they get struck by lightning. No, that was on the last playthrough. That's not happened to us yet. Oh, yeah. 18. Look, roll, succeed. Go to 126. 26. Did you jump? Yes, you did. I didn't jump. No. Oh. The shore seems devoid of berries, game, or anything else to eat. Your concentration and reflexes noticeably impaired. You are reduced to wandering the shoals of the riverside, attempting to spear fish with a sharpened pole. Around one bend, however, you find an abandoned canoe. We're stealing it! <laughs> <laughs> to use the canoe and dare go through the water ahead, go to 242. I yeah, think, take the yeah, canoe. I'm going to take the canoe. Take the canoe. Did that? 242. Two four two. Yeah. You climb aboard the canoe and set on down river. At your next rest spot, fish and game abound. A good meal does wonders to restore you. At least you come to the treacherous segment of the river that Charlie Foxtail called the place of splitting water. Make a pilot boat roll. What's thirty one? Thirty one! <laughs> ah! Yes! <laughs> if you succeed, go to 513. We succeed. 513. It is time to decide your course of your expedition. Fort MacDonald lies within your reach. You may go there to end your experience in the north and then an inn. If you still have an appetite for exploration, you no. may take a shot. No. We're on our own. We have no food, no supplies, nothing. There's nowhere we can go. Ooh, right. let's just pop up this little <laughs> canyon and have a look round on the way home. We've not gained any keywords, have we? No. Right. So I th we're going to get a different ending here anyway, because obviously we've not got anything. Yeah. 
So, five nine yeah, three. We're gonna we're just gonna we're gonna bail. I think I think we're not getting anywhere with this. You pass a place of splitting waters with no particular difficulty and reach the calmer water waterways of the western branch. The foraging is ample now and you recover strength as you draw near McDonald. Go to four three three. Near Fort we're McDonald. On. No, we're not going to McDonald. <laughs> We're going McMackin! We're going McDonald! Four, three, three. Yeah. Me, me, me. Four, three, three. Oh, for God's After sake. so many days on the river and nights in the woods, it feels strange sitting in a stifling room and, and answer questions about your conduct. If you've lost any members of your party who have confirmed their death, multiply the number by losses by 15. Well, that's everybody. So... No, That's hang, one. Hang, is, it, is it that if they're dead or we've lost one. them? They're all dead. Oh. Well, we, have, we haven't confirmed any of their deaths, have we? Cause no, we, we, didn't we, to wait. we have confirmed Bernard's because oh, regardless yeah, Bernard, so of what one. chat says, I don't think Bernard's out there without his skin on it. Oh, it's such losses. So it's all of them. So, yeah, the liability is so, 60. Right. So 60. So uh, this is roll one d hundred, and if the score is greater than your liability, go to five thirty. So one d hundred seventy six. Oh, that's so it's greater. So we go to five thirty. When you report of your party's misfortunes, it's analysed by the Canadian authorities. They absolve you of any wrongdoing or neglect. Of course they do, because we're just perfect. We couldn't help that somebody took his skin. Go to 529. You must decide what to announce. If you have either a keyword, no. No. If you have the keyword in chat, no. No. If you have more than one of no. these keywords, no. Before, if you have none of these keywords, go to 430. Even before arriving back in Arkham, you know your lack of hard evidence will undermine your credibility. If your party has lost any of the graduate students, go to 83. Uh, Not looking good. We have technically lost them, so 83. The verdict, the verdict of, the... of the Canadian authorities counts in your favour, but the parents of your students rise up in arms and force a thorough review of your ca of the case. They, they impu imp Pubes that you are an incompetent crank willing to risk innocent lives in to pursue off the wall theories. Your standing in the scientific community is imperiled. You stand on you stand on your record. Make an anthropology role. Ooh, what's our anthropology? Seventy six. Forty four. Six C go to four one eight. The Board of Inquiry dismisses the charges against you. You settle back into the academic community. <laughs> that's Going nice. Look, that's how we died last time. We got away with killing all the students. It's great. We get a fresh new class. Although your expedition has failed to produce any hard evidence, your reputation is such that Miss Miskatonic University does not hold it against you. However, as the Great Depression sets in, you find it more difficult to fund new projects. The bizarre stories you have to tell you have to tell of the North and N and N are greeted with enthusiasm by the si sensationalist press, but scepticism by your colleagues. As things go, your career manages to survive your N and N N experience. The Needleman expedition is over. That's a better ending. We lost everybody. Well, How can it be a better ending? We lost <laughs> everybody's dead. It's a better ending for Needleman. Because on the last one, he was discredited and he was an idiot and he became a laughing stock. So I think things worked out for our needleman. But everybody's dead. Pros and cons. <laughs> <laughs> so Win some and you lose some. The first round, we lost Bernard. The guide ran off, but we managed to escape. We didn't, no, can we just rephrase that? We didn't lose Bernard. Bernard was decapitated. Whilst we were on watch. No, he was on watch. No, we were on he, watch. 
who we oh, were on God, watch where Bernard died. Mm. Uh, and then we escaped, but then we were discredited because we had no proof and everyone thought we were a laughing stock. That was the first playthrough. The second one, we were we found some weird aliens and they put us in a jar. We died. And then the third one was this is this the third one that we've done? Well no, we did it three times. We kind of backtracked a yeah, bit we so we didn't get stuck it. we didn't get sucked into jars. But yeah, and so this is our third ending. We've lost we we killed everybody. No, we abandoned the guide to the, the phallic creatures. And then we just got all of our guys killed because we could have, well no, we Bernard went We ran off ra- and Bernard left Bernard ran off into the forest, so that's kind of on him. And then somebody came back with Bernard's skin on. You really hate Bernard, poor Bernard. He ran into the forest. That's his own problem. He might have been going into the forest to protect us. Well, he did a great job, didn't he? (laughs) (laughs) Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And then obviously, you know, we outran the other two who got eaten to death by some weird nifflings. But we survived, and even though their parents didn't like the fact that we'd got their ki- ch- kids killed, we kept Bloody our parents, job. I tell you. Bloody parents. Know, what do they expect? That's life. You know, these the risks. But we, we carried on, and we had a lovely life. We uh, we became a very well-known guy. <laughs> no students ever went on one of our field trips ever again. So, that's two Call of Cthulhu solo games we've done. I think this and one ended better than the first. Because um, we survived. And I've, I feel that the success ratio at the moment is not going our way. If you haven't seen the first one, by the way, you really should go and watch that. No spoilers. <laughs> that one was... That, that ended brilliantly. But uh, no, yeah, I think this one was a success. We didn't die. Everyone else did, but we didn't. Hmm. <laughs> so we've got another one to do yet. So yeah. which is Alone Against the Dark, I think. This was yes. Alone Against the Frost and um this is written by Glenn Rah- Rahman and Gavin Ingle Ingles. 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 It's on the front cover anyway. There you go. There's a front cover. And it's by Chaosium Inc. Uh, Glenn Rahman and Gavin Inglis. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. it's by Chaos- Chaosium. Chaosium. So, so yeah. we've got... I got them. Um, I bought them. I can't think of... They weren't very expensive, I don't think. So, we've got one more of this to do. Is there, yes. Is there any more that we just need to get? Or is it there is only I'm one not one? sure, actually, if there's any more. I'll have to look into it. I'll have a look later. Or I'll get Mark to look. When I say I'll have a look, I'll say we will have a look. So, someone else will. But we will do more similar ones to this if there isn't. So, you know, I, I, it, it's definitely fun. And I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for coming. Uh, and yeah, if you're watching just, uh, this on back on one. the VOD, thank you for watching it on the VOD. I hope this was very entertaining for you. I, we, I had a brilliant time. And if you're watching it on the VOD on YouTube, press the subscribe button. Yes. And if you haven't <laughs> already, get in our Discord. Um, oh, yeah. Do the Discord thing. Do the Discord thing. You mean go yeah, Discord. Yeah. Do the Discord thing. There you go. Get in our Discord if you haven't already. Um, we are running several campaigns, hopefully, over the next few weeks, months, years. Um, if you are interested, you need to speak to the DM. There is a monkey game going on Thursday. Yeah, um, Trolls. Um, I've done a shout out for Trolls. Trolls is running a monkey monkey pirate game on thursday um there may still be room if you're interested um yeah. so if you are get on the discord go down to the one shots and register for the the monkey game um the D campaign if you weren't watching last night that's on a break for a bit so but that will be hopefully coming back soon guys nice. um we're probably going to do some one shots on the saturday slot until then so, Croyd's written some stuff. Yeah. Um, and obviously, at some point, we'll pop back on and do another one of these book reports. Uh, book reports? 
uh, one of these books. We'll do a report. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's a Blades in the Dark. Um, um, some old pirate is planning a Blades in the Dark. And yeah. he's supposed to be planning a... Um, something runes. It's fell out my head. What's it called, Mark? What's the runes one called? Casting the Runes, which is a Kickstarter, runes, yeah. which we backed. And, um, and Mutants got... and Mayhem. Mutants no. and Masterminds. <laughs> if you were here on the break, there was a trailer for it. Uh, if you fancy joining in on that, I'll be hopefully running that within the next week or two, starting it up. If there's enough interest, it'll probably be two. I might I might look at doing two because um, I know don't not everybody wants to be on stream. So if you don't want to be on stream, that's fine. Um, we are looking at trying to get some games up and running um that aren't going to be streamed so don't worry about that but if you're just interested and you want to know when such games are going to be streamed get onto the discord join those groups that you're interested in because you'll see all the announcements and you'll get all the goings on and everything um yeah and if you know if you're a gm dm coming up and you just want some help and support want to talk to other gms and dms this is the place um we've got a, a good selection of people who can help you talk you through it and just bounce ideas off. Um, not me. I don't do the DM bit. Not Ash. It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. So, thank you again for coming. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I th like I said, I think that was the, the better of the ending we've had so far, where we didn't actually die. Um, it took us three attempts to get to that ending. Well, no, because we we survived on two two out of three endings so that's good that's good <laughs> Just... i wonder if there's a way of surviving it and coming out of it with all the the people i mean it's ca ca Cthulhu, so i doubt it yeah cool all right then that's so yeah right thanks for watching guys um and i have hoped you've enjoyed it and we'll catch you again soon like i said See we'll, you soon. we'll announce in discord when we're going to do the next one of these yeah we're gonna have to learn it we will have to learn it. Um, so, yeah. See you next okay, time. See you soon. Bye. Bye. All around the world, people are waking up to the breaking news.